At this point in the COD life cycle, most grinders who wanted to work for Damascus either have it or are close to finishing it. But what do you do once you unlock it? For most grindaholics, the next step is going for Obsidian. But in my opinion, it's kind of lackluster and not really worth the effort in grinding for it. But since we're on the topic, I'll address it. I get the question all the time of what the best method is for grinding Obsidian, or how to get it easier. And the simple answer to that is that there really isn't one. I'm sure you could cheese out some game modes or spots on maps, but all you really need to do is sink a lot of time into using the same gun and get at least 15 kills in 125 to 200 matches. But if you get a multiple of 15, like 30, 45, 60, and so on, you can knock it out faster. And like all my other camo grinding recommendations, domination on shipment should be the fastest way to do it. But if you go for it, make sure you check it out first and you like how it looks on the weapon or you really like the weapon you're grinding it for. It can also just be a flex in some lobbies because of how hard it is to get. But in my opinion, it doesn't seem worth the time investment. There are also weapon mastery challenges that give you emblems and calling cards for doing various challenges like an ass load of kills or headshots. These are also, in my opinion, only really worth it for the flex. There are reticles as well that you can grind that are pretty cool if you still have the itch, but if you're sick of grinding, there are plenty of other things you can do in the game, now that you've gotten over the biggest hump it has to offer. Let's go over them. There's the obvious kicking back and just playing multiplayer, queuing up a game of search with the boys. They do got this. Ooh. Oh, oh, Sam! Okay. <laughs> Spit on him. Oh. 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 Searching for a dub ski in Warzone. Get the fuck out of here! That's a dub, baby! Let's go! <laughs> Playing the campaign that's actually pretty good. Let's go! Oh. Try to beat some Spec Ops missions. Device. Get the shit on you, bitch! <laughs> Put that shit on! Now you go over there! And fucking get him, all right, bitch? You hear me? You, you got this, man. You got him. Hey, what? Oh, <laughs> dude, what? You just go, go, gadget the fuck out of here. What is this fucking Metal Gear Solid? <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? Get your platoon and hop in ground war. Gauge top him. <laughs> Defending the private. Try to win a gunfight tournament. The walkway? We're the real bug clan, bitch! Get out of here! Take the, Take the fucking tags, tags off. off. Make stupid ass gun attachment combinations. Beat off to your favorite operator. Play random mini games and private matches. Myself. Ooh, who's about to get 360? Oh! The 360 no scope? You gotta delete the game, Gage. Go for some trick shots. He's right under you, Chase. Oh! Eat that shit! Let's, go, Let's fucking go. Oh, Try to get a nuke, feed your Tamagotchi, and make a cool blueprint camo combo. What I'm trying to say is there's plenty of things to do, but at its core, it's just a game meant to entertain you. And if you're no longer being entertained by it, there's a new COD around the corner, and there's plenty other great games that can fill that void that COD can't. So in conclusion, what should you do after unlocking Damascus? Whatever the hell you want. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, if not, dislike. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell if you don't want to miss an upload. Follow me over on my socials if you want to see when I upload, go live on Twitch, or see some clips that don't make it into videos. And if you made it all the way to the end of the video, drop a STN. It stands for suck nuts, but YouTube will probably delete those in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.